हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एक्सप्लोर फिजिक्स लेट्स एक्सप्लोर होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई एक्सप्लेन यू विद द न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन मिरर फॉर्मूला एंड मैग्नीफिकेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप अनदर फिनोमिना ऑफ लाइट दैट इज रिफ्रैक्शन सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज रिफ्रैक्शन वेयर हैव यू सीन इट ऑल दीस थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन एंड द रिफ्रैक्शन बाय द ग्लास स्लैब so where it actually we have seen the refraction you know when the sunlight comes from outside to our rooms it crosses through the glass pane or the windows which is made up of glass of course so at the interface of these two surfaces it bends the light ray bends so this bending of light or change of path of light is called refraction remember in refraction the light bounces back in its in the same medium but here it crosses over the other medium so or it passes through the other medium and changes its path or it bends from the, the regular path from its path this bending of light is called refraction let's take one example i think you have read it in the lower classes as well say we have a glass slab here we have medium 1 that is air and here we have glass okay so the light ray strikes at this say at point o and if we just drop a normal it just bends towards the normal and when it moves outside to a again so it bends away from the normal so it two interfaces first between air and glass and then again between glass and air it changes its path it bends toward towards or it bends away from the normal this bending of light is called refraction so here if it's o at it strikes at air glass interface at o and here it is at o dash so if you see it here it changes its path it just bends towards the normal and it, here when it goes from glass to air or in the other words from optically denser to optically rarer medium it bends away from the normal so this is called refraction of light so uh, uh which is the most suitable material of the sub or substances for the uh, refraction to occur the transparent medium it also occurs in translucent medium as well but the transparent medium uh, you know allows the maximum light to pass through it uh i'll just explain you again different terms pertaining to the same refraction and the laws of refraction just i'll draw it a little neatly here the same glass slab and i'll explain you what are the different terms pertaining to that so let's assume this is one this is the glass slab here we have and let's name it so it is a b c and d so here a b c d we have the glass slab here one light ray strikes at it at o say this is the normal let's assume this o n is the normal at interface a b so what happens here it is observed that when it moves from air to glass to optically rarer to the optically denser medium it bends towards the normal okay so it bends it bends towards the normal and when it again moves from glass to air it bends away from the normal okay so let's say this is o o dash this is o n or i can say n n dash here i'll just name it name the normal as n n dash and here we have say this is m m dash so we have incident ray uh say i o is the incident ray strikes at o at 
air glass interface o o dash this is the refracted ray and o dash e let's assume uh, it strikes at the second interface between glass and air at o dash and mm dash is the normal to the point o dash so o dash e is referred as emergent ray so this is how the refraction takes place in a glass lab if you produce it backwards or this forward here it is assume or it is sorry not assume it is actual happen you can just verify it in the lab that these two rays are parallel to each other the incident the emergent ray and the incident rays are parallel to each other so this is called lateral displacement or lateral deviation or lateral shift so the there's a shift between emergent ray and the incident ray this is referred as late lateral uh, deviation or lateral shift and it is being observed that emergent ray and the incident rays are parallel to each other so this is all about the refraction through a glass slab refraction happens at two interfaces first between air and glass interface and the uh, uh, second time when it it's between glass and air interface and in one case when it is moving from optical denser to uh, sorry optical rarer to denser medium the uh, refracted uh, the ray bends up towards the normal so it bends towards the normal whereas when it comes out from optical dense uh, rare, uh, denser to rarer medium it bends away from the normal so this is all about the refraction through a glass slab now let's talk about laws of refraction what are the laws of refraction so the first law says that the incident ray the refracted ray the, and the normal to the interface of two surfaces they all lie in the same plane the second law which is also called snell's law says that the sine of incident angle and sine of refracted angle is called mu or refractive index so what is refractive index the ratio between the sine of angle of incident and sine of angle of refraction is called the mu is a constant and doesn't have any unit because degree by degree sine and sine are both are in degree so it's the it doesn't have any unit but it is a constant for a particular substance for material it differs from material to material but for one material it's a constant so for a particular material it's a constant for example the you know refractive index of air is 1.33 for glass it is 1.5 so this is the second law what does the first law say that the incident ray refracted ray and normal at the point of interface they all lie in the same plane second the sine of angle i by sine of angle r or the ratio of sine of angle i and sine of angle r is always a constant refer as refractive index of the medium so this is all about the laws of refraction now and we so what did we discuss the refraction by uh, through or, or, or by a glass lens and then the laws of refraction we'll be talking about few more formula or few more facts about the refractive index is there any change of any physical quantity when a light ray enters from uh, you know from an optically denser to rarer medium or vice versa what exactly happens will it will all the parameters be the same or is there any change in its say other parameters of physical quantities so when the 
light ray travels from optically denser to optically rarer medium. So what happens? There, there is a change in its optical density. I have told you, like glass, we assume that it is optically dense. Now, glass is actually optically denser than optic uh, than uh, air. So depending, uh, so what is the physical quantity which undergoes the change? Uh, say uh, we are taking the example like we have taken for the glass layer, it moves from air to glass. So in the glass there are more molecules to offer the resistance to its path. So the speed changes because when it moves from rarer to denser medium or from air to glass, there is a decrease in its speed. So the, the speed of the light ray changes. What remains the same? Frequency. The frequency of the light ray remains the same. So when diffraction happens, when it moves from one medium to another, when the ray moves from one medium to another, so the speed changes, whereas frequency remains the same. So this is about the refraction. Now, if you have, you know, the so now for optical denser medium or when the speed uh, is, you know, it gets less or more, how will it affect the refractive index? We are going to talk about this now. So now, if we have, we were talking about medium 1 and, and medium 2. So this refractive index can be referred by mu and different, different books give you these things. This is mu, a Greek letter mu and this is n. Uh, so if you talk about n to 1. We had taken 1 air and 2 glass. So here I am talking about n to 1. I will just inside here I will give you the example of the glass lab again. Uh, the same thing I am taking now and it is moving in this direction. So uh, if this is medium 1 and this is medium 2 and I am talking about n to 1 that is the refractive index of second medium with respect to first it is given by V1 by V2 where V1 is the speed of light in medium 1 and V2 is the speed of light in medium 2. And as I told you when it when the light ray moves from one to other medium it speed changes but its frequency remains the same very important question every now and then it comes and N21 is given uh, is it shows that the refractive index of medium 2 with respect to 1 is equal to v1 by v2 because v1 is the speed of light in medium 1 and speed of light in v2 in medium 2 is referred as v2. Here what is n12? So this will be v2 by v1. So n21 is this and n12 is this. Now if one of the medium say in this if I am talking about n21 if one of the medium say anything we can take if one of the medium is air like for instance this case or vacuum so this is referred as then in this case it is referred as absolute index absolute refractive index what did I say when one of the medium is vacuum or air then the uh, the refractive index is referred as absolute refractive index we have a formula also children that is n is equal to c by v if you are going to find the refractive index in a medium then it is equal to c that is speed of light and v is the speed of light in this is speed of light in air or vacuum and v is the speed of light in that medium so with this formula, we can also find the refractive index of a medium. As I told you, it differs from material to material, but for a particular material, it's constant. So this is all about refractive index. Now, if we are talking about glass and air, let's assume this V1 was air and V2 was glass. Now, in this case, when V1, I'm saying it is more here speed of light is more as compared to speed of this so it changes when the speed of light is less 
and speed of light is less here the refractive index will be more when the speed of light is more then we have the refractive index is less so this that's how you have to remember it anyway when we we'll talk about more explanation or description about it it will be clear to you so we'll be talking about the ray diagram and the sign convention in the next class stay safe stay healthy and a very big thank you to all please uh, subscribe and like my channel if you like the content see you bye bye